The days go by and the political crisis in Venezuela persists. The Venezuelan opposition insists on holding elections, releasing so-called political prisoners, opening the humanitarian channel for medicine and food, and respecting the National Assembly. During a march of silence held in honor of all those fallen during protest, opposition leader Enrique Capriles stressed that the opposition must continue to protest peacefully to achieve the changes. If we continue with this path that we have drawn, and we do it in unity, and we do it as we have to do, only one thing awaits us, victory, victory, and change for Venezuela. In view of the situation, President Nicolás Maduro urged the country's opposition to quail their actions, while calling on the followers of the so-called Bolivarian Revolution to defend it. And to the people, stay alert in the street, supporting the security forces in public order, active support, the Bolivarian National Guard, active support to the Bolivarian National Police when present, candlelight that is caught, candlelight that goes out with the people. The head of the state stressed that what he identifies as the right has called for assault in the government and violence in his country. They are responsible for all the violence, all the dead, all the damage. In contrast, opposition congressman Jose Guerra used the National Armed Forces to control the civil armed groups. Because they are creating a campaign of ungovernability in Venezuela with these actions, some of the dead have to do with those paramilitary groups. The opposition is planning to close several important roads in the main cities across Venezuela on Monday. Álvaro Algarra, Voice of America, Caracas.